Hi, I'm Christian Barham and I'm the car enthusiast. Today we have a 2006 Cayman S. This is my brother Taylor. This is not, not the owner, but the owner's in front of us in his 240 Fair Lady Z, 1972. Um, I'll put a posted link in the description to a showcase of that car on Petrolicious. Um, his name's Glenn, um, but this is his 2006 Cayman S. So let's get started. Today we're on Skyline Drive, I think it's called, um, in California. Uh, near Cupertino and Saratoga. Beautiful area. So I want to get the facts out of the way first. This car has 291 horsepower. Uh, different sources say 295. Either way, it's, a, it's great. Um, 251 power for the torque. 0 to 60 happens in about 5.1 seconds. Quarter mile 13.4 at 105 miles an hour. Um, it weighs just underneath 3,000 pounds. So when you, when you pair the nearly 300 horsepower with 3,000 pounds, you obviously get a very um, quick car as well as very well handling car since it's a Porsche. Since it's a six-speed manual, um, the manual transmissions, Porsche is just very good at making them. Porsche has always been known for making amazing transmissions. Last night I had the pleasure of driving Glenn's um, 1977 930 Turbo, which was actually the fastest production car in the world at the time. And the transmission is very, very similar to this. Um, obviously this is much newer but it, you can definitely tell the similarities. Uh, thankfully, this one has much shorter throws, um, so this, this is actually so solid feeling. I mean, downshifts are incredibly easy, take no time at all, and obviously with a mid-engine car, you get a lot of really incredible handling, especially on these roads. They're very, very windy. Of course, with the Porsche, you get the tachometer, tachometer rather, straight in front of you, so you have that all the way up to uh, 7,000 RPM red line with this 3.4 liter uh, naturally aspirated flat six. Depending on where you live, prices can vary. So I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, so mid-range mileage on these cars will run you about twenty-six to twenty-eight thousand dollars if it's in good condition. Uh, high mileage, about one hundred and hundred twenty thousand miles, will probably run you about as low as eighteen thousand dollars, and also up to twenty-two thousand dollars. And then you can sometimes get as high as. Thirty to forty thousand dollars in really low mileage, well taken care of models. This one's at 50, fifty-seven thousand miles, and this is a white exterior with a cocoa interior. It's a very, very rare um, brown leather interior. Um, so, if you wanted to get this one today, in, in where I live, you're probably looking at somewhere closer to thirty thousand dollars. I could be wrong. I think this has the stock Cayman S exhaust. It sounds amazing. I'm not complaining. I'm just gonna enjoy these roads. So I'm sorry if this is a short review, but thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you later.